What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video so it seems that we know what our NBA Finals is going to be. We're going to get a Lakers Miami Heat NBA Finals. You guys can go ahead and let me know who you think is going to win that. But over the next two days, we're going to be doing a Celtics rebuild and a Nuggets rebuild because obviously they were both eliminated in the conference finals. And both these teams have really bright futures. The Celtics are just, I feel like, a piece away from competing and the Nuggets maybe even a piece away. But of course, we're starting with the Celtics today. So make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into the Celtics rebuild. Like I mentioned, I feel like this Celtics team is literally a piece away from being able to make it to the NBA Finals. Miami was the better team on paper. And if Miami is able to get Giannis Antetokounmpo in the next two off seasons, then it's a GG. They're about to run the East for a long time coming, I feel like, but nah. Anyway, we're focused on the Celtics today, obviously. So yeah, the Celtics, like I said, they did the best they could. And unfortunately, they came up short. I feel like the main thing, even though Daniel Tyus wasn't a negative for them and it wasn't a bad player, I think getting a center could be very, uh, very beneficial for the Celtics. And then just, I don't really know what else you could do. Like Kimball Walker's a good player. Tatum is going to get to develop. Jalen Brown is going to still be good for you. I guess you could explore maybe trading Hayward once he uh, accepts his player option. Maybe somebody would be interested in finding yourself a center in the offseason. But, I mean, obviously, we're going to be making those decisions here in this video. We're not going to be doing anything right now, I don't think, just because... Actually, I guess since Gordon Hayward's under a one-year deal, maybe some team would give me a center as of right now. We can just go ahead and start the season. But I actually kind of want to start this in the offseason because that's usually how I start these uh, rebuilds when teams just got eliminated. So... Let's start this in the offseason. I don't know even know why I'm at the beginning of the regular season. And then we can officially start with this rebuild. Do win the championship. Will that happen in real life? I'm probably going to say, yeah. I think the Lakers are going to go on to win the championship and hoist that trophy or that trophy, I should say, for Mamba, Kobe Bryant. May he rest in peace and the Lakers will be champions. But we're here to rebuild the Celtics. So let's go ahead and get started in the offseason and just get started right away. So we want to make sure nothing changes here, of course. And then we'll go to the draft lottery and uh, let's see what we got going on here. So we are going to get a pick, I believe, from the Grizzlies, if I'm not mistaken, or am I a season behind? Yeah, the 16th pick. It wasn't a lottery pick, though, because of the simulation. I guess the Grizzlies did make the playoffs, which is good for them. But we're going to go ahead and get a better assistant. And we're also, of course, going to get a better trainer. And we'll have Brad Stevens. We'll keep him around, of course, one of the better coaches, I feel like, in the NBA. And now it's time to make some moves. So I think I, whoa, four first round picks. Okay, that's actually kind of nice to have. I really don't want to trade Jalen LeBron or Kimba, though. I'd like to keep that backcourt. I think Kimba playing, finally playing on a good team is very good for him. And then Marcus Smart is like been kind of a good player for the Celtics, like the heart and soul. So I kind of want to keep him around. So unfortunately, I don't really, I kind of want to use these picks and trades. But I guess I only have four or three first round picks, not four. I apologize. And uh, we could get Al Horford back for three first round picks. But that's definitely not something we're going to do. That's just kind of dumb so i think i'm gonna wait till after we can like re-sign gordon hayward and then re-sign jason tatum and we'll kind of use these rookies whoever they draft and we'll use them in trades and i want to get ourselves a center whether it's uh i don't know miles turner or taco fall or freaking i don't know we'll, we'll figure it out but uh we have bird rights and gordon hayward so i do want to offer him i want to keep daniel tice as our backup and of course we want jason tatum back so let me re-sign uh daniel tice to a backup role and let me also re-sign Gordon Hayward, because I actually kind of want to use him in a trade, obviously. And of course, we're going to match whatever Tatum is offered, and boom. So now, yeah, I don't think we have a whole lot of money to afford another center. So what we're going to do is we're going to search the open market for a center, and hopefully I can find the best center to come play for the Celtics. Since we're kind of doing a fantasy-style rebuild anyway, let's just shoot for the stars and try to get one of the best centers in the league and call the towns. I doubt they accept this, but hey, it's worth a shot. Yeah, they're not accepting that. Okay, so... Uh, I know I can maybe get a center like that out here. So I also kind of wanted to go for Bam maybe from the Miami Heat and kind of pry him away from Miami and bring him over to Boston if they would do something like this. Uh, they're not accepting it just yet, but let me see if I can. Oh my gosh, we got Bam. Okay, so we got our center and Bam out of bio, which is awesome. So now we have Bam out of bio, Kimba, Tatum, and Jalen Brown. That's a really nice starting five. Uh, we definitely could use a power forward or a small forward though, which I want to move Tatum to the small four. So now... We have Kemba at the point guard, Jalen Brown, Marcus Smart, of course, Tatum at the four or the three, I should say, and then Bam and Daniel Tice will run the center spot. So now we need to find a four, which I think a perfect power forward, if he's still out here, is a guy like Jeremy Grant, who I think is going to opt out of his player option, or maybe we should just trade for somebody. So I'm going to go ahead and offer in his cancer contract, and let me see if I can find a good power forward as well to bring to this team. It looks like Joe Harris, uh, we could afford Joe Harris. I'll go ahead and get him as well. Going to be a nice backup small forward. I probably won't trade him. 
But we need to find a power forward, which I'm going to go look for one real quick and see if I can bring a really elite power forward to this team. A power forward, and this trade pops up for Eric Pascal and Draymond Green. This isn't too bad. I really don't want to trade Daniel Tyus, though, if I don't have to. Oh, we might actually have to trade Daniel Tyus. Uh, do I do this? I mean, we do get a good... I I'm doing this trade, I guess. We're going to get a two power forwards, Eric Pascal and Draymond Green. So that's nice, I guess. And then now we look at the team. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ish. So Taco, I guess, can play in the rotation. Or honestly, we could probably make even more trades for like a better backup point guard potentially if we maybe threw like Tremont Waters and Romeo Lankford out there. I'm sure we can get like a nice center to pop up or Cody Zeller. I mean, Burks is even an option. We don't need a shooting guard. Aaron Holiday as a good backup point guard option is definitely something we could use. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So I think we're ready for season number two, even though technically this is probably gonna be season number one because I really didn't do anything that first season. But I'm pretty happy with how the team looks now. I'm really happy. We got Bam out of bio here. We got Eric Pascal here as well. Like we're still a pretty young roster outside of Kimball Walker. So that's why I think the Celtics have a lot of room to improve even after being eliminated in the conference finals. And uh, I'm very excited about the future. I really do think they're going to be a threat going forward. Obviously, they have been for the last few years. And I feel like it's only going to get better from here for the Celtics. So we have Kimba. Uh, are we running an eight-man or we're on a 10-man rotation? I'm going to have... So it's Kimba, Jalen Brown, Tatum, Draymond is starting. Which I'm not totally opposed to that. We'll see. Bam out of bio, Eric Pascal, Marcus Smart, Aaron Holiday, and Joe Harris. I believe it's because we're running a defensive system. We can go up to balance and get a... Yeah, we're doing that. We're going to get a four and a half star system for the Celtics team. I'm very happy about that. So we'll move this to balance now. And will that start Eric Paschal now? It will. That's awesome. Okay. So we're four and a half still with Eric Paschal joining the lineup, which is awesome. Wanted him to start anyway. And boom, guys, we are ready to simulate this first season. I know some of you guys are probably like, put Taco in the rotation, you idiot. But I'm not doing it, man. I'm just going to leave him out. He'll play some garbage time minutes when we need him to. And let's go see if we can win this championship in season number two. Well, Embiid comes down with the most valuable player award. Something I don't actually see very often in this game. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, rookie of the year goes to Greg Brewer. Bull Bull is your sixth man on the Pistons. Detroit gets themselves a very nice player. Crispy would be super happy. Yasan Akubo, defensive player. John Morant's most approved. And Brett Brown, coach of the year, as they go 69 and 13. No wonder why Embiid won MVP. The Celtic or the 76ers were fantastic. And we only went 52 and 30 on the other hand. So the 76ers is definitely going to be a team to uh, deal with. So they got Simmons, Matisse, they have Capella and Embiid, Monte Morris, and Anthony Thompson, Wancho. Like, I just don't understand. Why do the 76ers always sign like three centers? I guess they have Capella starting now, which is terrible spacing wise. Like, you know what? Like, if you're the 76ers GM, obviously you need, you need shooting if you're going to keep Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid. But. In this game, they're saying, screw that. Let's just go get Clint Capella and ruin our spacing even more. Let's go to the player stats now. 22 from Tatum, 21 from Jalen Brown, 19 from Bam, 18 from Kemba. Like, this team is solid, bro. Hopefully, we can uh, make it to the conference finals and upset the 76ers. We'll have to see if they even make it there. We'll have to see if we'll even make it there. Playing Orlando in the first round, and we beat them at five. And hey, now we're playing Miami. We can get our revenge here. That'd be very nice if we could get that done here. They signed Paul Millsap. They have Drummond. Even after I traded for Bam. Oh, wow. Okay. Gordon Hayward's still on this team as well. Can we beat the Heat here? And we do beat them at six. Okay. So that's awesome to see. And now we're playing Philadelphia, as we know, who just went 69 and 13. So this is definitely going to be a tough matchup. Let's see if we can beat them. We're up one to zero to start the series. Uh, up two to zero. Can we go up three to zero and expose the 76 team for their fake regular season record as we sweep them four? to zero and now we're the nba finals playing either the grizzlies or the pelicans two young teams on the rise as we know uh you got karen terrell drew holiday ingram zion lamarcus aldridge let's see who we're playing and we're playing the memphis grizzlies who have jaw dylan brooks Kawhi. wow Kawhi went to memphis can you imagine Kawhi? like you know coming from la is like oh you know what i feel like i kind of want to go play for I, I don't even know why i'm trying to imitate a Kawhi voice like I don't sound anything like him. But anyway, like, I want to go play for Memphis, Tennessee now. Like, I know I've been wanting to chase that big market team, but let me go play in Memphis and play with John Morant. Can you imagine something like that happening? It just, it just, it just seems like an impeccable, like something that would never happen. But all right, let's go game by game here since we are playing Kawhi Leonard. We're up one to zero, up two to zero. Kawhi is no match for this Celtics team as we're up three to zero. And uh, let's go to Simcast, honestly. If we are going to beat them here badly, 
let's go ahead and try to beat them and maybe get some gameplay even though i'm super trash at this game but i haven't been recording long and we already won the championship and i feel like this team's already the best it can be so let's jump in four minutes left and let's get some gameplay to end the video in here but honestly man as much as i suck at this game i don't think i'm gonna be blowing a 13 point lead i have plenty of talent on the roster i should be able to score i do have to stop Kawhi though which is gonna be you know it's not like it's gonna be easy john morant for three and he does make that so already not gonna lie that's not a good sign as they're only down 10 and if you guys know if you've seen my 2k skills before it they're, they're not they're not very good at all so like there's a good chance okay never mind Jonas found shooters is lost in the paint but like i said there's a very good chance that i might blow this lead just because of how bad i am at this game and i'm pretty sure this is on hall of fame so yeah the computer usually mops the floor with me but Kawhi trying and he gets offensive board but Jalen brown stopped him on the first shot but unfortunately he does get the offensive board and make something happen let's see if i can go with another pick and roll why am i actually that might have worked out Jalen brown for three he was kind of open and i do miss that three i feel like i actually ran a play there for once bam going oh okay almost an end goal tanning okay I could take that that's fine at least it's not an one foul or anything like that but now we're only up eight points guys we got to make sure oh my gosh I almost went backcourt tatum cutting actually i threw that to bam i thought i thought i was throwing that to tatum dude wow bro this is the one thing i don't like like i i know there's a way you can make sure you pass it to the right player which i probably need to start using that now wow bro <laughs> this is a six point game now let's go all right kimba i need to make something happen here bam let's go baby that's what i'm talking about 115 107 thank the lord for the double team or i'm gonna get exposed bam has 28 points on the night he's our leading scorer i'm i'm pretty sure like there's no way he's not 115 to 107 grizzlies call a timeout as they're absolutely lost and scared they don't know what to do because crush is in the building beating them 115 to 107 timeout trying to make something happen here but as we know, Crush is a god at 2K, so there's no shot it's happening. And Kawhi hits the N1 as he talks and says the biggest cap sentence of the year. All right, come on, man. Let's go, Kawhi. And yeah, uh, he missed it. I was trying to play some like uh, reverse psychology thing by cheering Kawhi on. It didn't really work, as you could tell. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, Bam and Kemba pick and roll. Seems to what has been working. That's a mid-range all day. And I missed that, bro. Oh no, oh no, who's this guy driving up the floor right now? I have no idea who this even is, but he's kind of tall. Not gonna lie, kind of looks like Luka Doncic low key, but it's not. Uh, let's see, Kawhi on Tatum. Tatum's got some decent defense. Kawhi no shot, that's a foul. Are you kidding me? 115 and 110, Kawhi to the free throw line, and he's about to make, oh my lord, bro. How was that a foul? How, I don't, I don't know how that was a foul, but okay, whatever. All right, man, let's make something happen here. We got to score. There's no way we can't. Like, if we if we don't score here, it's definitely about to be pretty scary for us going forward. I'm just going to take Bam in, and I do get fouled. That's good. All right. I'm just going to... You know what? We're running the offense through Bam, even though there's probably better options since, you know, we kind of have a really good roster. But Bam has been my go-to guy right now. He's been making some shots for me, and we make both free throws. You love to see it. 117 and 112. There's a lot of timeouts left. Hopefully the computer doesn't take too much of those timeouts because I really hate it uh, because it's annoying when the game slows down. But we're only up five and I'm about to leave John Morant wide open. They're going back to Kawhi. I better not make another foul happen here. And Jason Tatum, nice defense. We get the board. Let's run that transition game. And uh, let's see. Can I? Nope. I'm just going to take the... Guys, I don't know what I just did there. I'm sorry. Okay, bam. Oh my gosh, I thought I stopped that. I don't know what I just did, bro. I was trying to make something happen, and I'm like, you know what? Never mind. I'm just going to shoot with Tatum, and that was obviously the wrong decision. All right, let's go, Bam. Now the pick and roll. I'm going through you. Going th Never mind. They're lost, and Kemba's going to get the layup. Let's go. 119 to 114. They throw it back in. Kemba's got 20 points on the night as well. That's awesome. Let's go. 119 to 114. Kawhi has the ball. Tatum on him. He is not going anywhere. He's smothering Kawhi. Kawhi dribbles around him after I said that, and he's makes the easy mid-range like he kind of does in real life all the time all right let's go let's go except for when he's playing the nuggets come on man let's go bam out of bio more pick and roll action it's not there anymore they kind of jalen brown come on bro bro did i just get fouled oh i got fouled on that let's go i thought i was about to get n one three let's go baby 119 to 116 i think this is our dub we just got to take care of the lead here all right man 
What? Wait, what's going on? Can I shoot my free throws or what? Is the game frozen? Guys, I think the game is glitched. Never mind. Here we go. All right, let's go, baby. 119 and once. Wait, what? What just happened? Why can I not? Why am I not looking? What is going on? Why can I? Why is the free throw thing not moving? I literally just made one of those. Why was it not? Dude, the thing wasn't even moving. Is that just something that happens or is my game glitch? Bam with the nice block. Let's go. Jalen Brown is up the floor and I just passed it again. I don't know who this is. It's Eric Pascal. Duh. We dunk it 122 to 116. We have a minute 10 left on the board, ladies and gentlemen. And I don't know what that glitch was before at the free throw line. But my cursor, the shot meter, I guess I should say, was not moving. So that's why I missed two free throws. And Kawhi goes in. Tatum playing decent defense. It's just not good enough. Kawhi is just better. And he takes it to the rack. All right, let's go, Tatum. I'm counting on you here. Eric Pask. Oh, bro, I could have. I could have shot that earlier. I don't know. I thought Eric Pask. I thought. Brandon Clark or whoever was covering Eric Pascal, I thought he was going to close out on me. So I was going to have Eric Pascal wide open, but Jalen Brown's wide open and I still miss it somehow. And now the Grizzlies are up and running. Kawhi is on fire. I forgot what that thing is called, but hey, let's go Jalen Brown. Come on, man. John Morant's trying to make something happen here. Kimba is on him. 34 seconds left. 122 to 118. I leave jaw open for a second because I'm a moron. 122 to 121. It's only a one point game now. That is not a good sign uh, for me, to be honest, because, uh, yeah, I'm not good at this game. Let's go, baby. Come on. Make something happen here. Bam is wide open in the paint. Jonas Valanciunas is on an island, and he's completely lost. What is the man doing? I have no idea, but thank you, Jonas Valanciunas. With a three-pointer. Kawhi shoots the mid-range instead and misses it. And the Grizzlies are going to go to the intentional foul. And we're going to send Jalen Brown to the free throw line. Hopefully my shot meter actually moves this time as it does. And we're going to take the five-point lead if I can make this second free throw. And just like that, we do, guys. I think that's a GG. We are going to win this game. But I'm definitely curious to see what the Grizzlies are going to do on their last possession. For three, and he misses. And just like that, we are going to go on to win the championship. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I had a lot of fun with this one. Jumping in and getting some gameplay, even though I am trash. I actually feel like I played a little decent uh, because Jonas Valanciunas was lost and all. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. We got the Nuggets next on deck. This is Crushables. I'm saying peace.